But my life before Islam, you know, I wasn't uh, never happy in my religion. I was always asking questions. Questions, the most question that concerned me was, you know, if I want to pray, why should I pray to Jesus? Why not pray to Allah, to God? And my um, questions to my mother, she was always, well, it's in, in the Bible, we have to believe it. I asked my grandmother the same question. She told me the same thing. It's in the Bible, we have to believe it. But I never really wanted to pray to Jesus. If I wanted anything, it should be to God. So I kept asking questions, and I was just basically told it's in the Bible, so we have to believe what's in the Bible. So I was always searching for an answer. One day I was you know, trying to read the Bible, and I got a migraine headache. When I get migraine headaches, I cannot see. So I put it down, and I said, I'll read it later. This happened three times. So the third time when I got the migraine headache and I could not see, I just took that as a sign as, don't read it. How I became Muslim was through my husband. Before I married him, I, I met him. We were, I was shopping at a store. He owned a store in Chicago. So we started talking. And my husband, Mashallah, he always talks about the religion to anybody. So he was asking me what my religion was and I told him. And he told me about the religion. The first thing he told me, about the religion was that we don't believe in Jesus as the Son of God. We believe in Him as the Prophet. And when he told me that, I said, this is the religion I've been looking for. You know, because now I can finally pray to God. And I know that I believe in Jesus. I'm not saying I don't, I do believe in Jesus, but as a Prophet. So that's how I became Muslim. When he told me to say the Shahada, I said the Shahada, and I became Muslim from that. The message I would like to say today is about Islam. Islam is a peaceful religion. It's not about wars, it's not about going out to fight, it's not about hatred. It's a peaceful religion, it's also a way of life. We live Islam daily by the way we pray, the way we eat, the way we speak, the way we talk about people, the way we think about other people. And every time we make a decision, we always have to think about the religion. One more thing I'd like to talk about is the way that Islamic women dress. We dress with a scarf and a long clothing to cover our bodies. We are not oppressed, we are liberated. Me, myself, when I wear the hijab, I feel like people are looking at me for who I am. They are not looking at my hair, they are not looking at my clothing, they are not looking at me, they are not judging me.